It's a pleasure to talk with Jane Aguirre, Vice President of Membership and Alliances at the American Academy of Ophthalmology. And um, in this second summit of the Americas, we'd like to explore the challenges uh, that are faced by American um, ophthalmology in the United States. How do they compare to those faced in Latin America? And how do you think the American Association of Ophthalmology can help address these challenges? Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, American ophthalmologists, I think, are quite frustrated with practice while they love taking care mm -hmm. of their patients and they love all the new technology and drugs they're able to use. Uh, the bureaucratic demands, uh, the healthcare system in our country is quite complicated and causes a lot of frustration. I don't know that there are, there's any system mm -hmm. like ours, We're probably mm -hmm. one of the most uh, complex, but I think all the countries are having issues with their uh, health care delivery systems, and perhaps we can learn something mm -hmm. from each other. The second issue is reimbursement. Um, our physicians, seeing mostly Medicare patients, are seniors, so it's paid for by the government, mm -hmm. and they're under constant pressure to reduce payment, and they usually do it through physicians. And because ophthalmologists are receiving a lot of money through Medicare, mostly for mm -hmm. cataracts, and now also for intravitreal injections, there's a lot of pressure on those codes, and we're seeing a lot of mm -hmm. decrease in their reimbursement. That's also, I think, uniquely mm -hmm. American. Yes. But the third issue is scope of practice, and that's a battle that uh, we've mm -hmm. been fighting in the United States for over 30 years now. Optometrists want to provide care beyond what their training permits. Mm -hmm. And we've been fighting that battle. It's gone so far as in some states they're allowed to do surgery. Mm -hmm. And this is an area where we're seeing a lot of similarities, things happening in other countries, not only in Latin America, but in mm -hmm. Europe and the Asia Pacific region as well. So I think it's a great thing that we can share from all the mistakes we've made. And the Pan American has a unique role in the Western Hemisphere to, I think, primarily convene everybody, bring everyone together, which they successfully did in Bogota, and allow us to share with one another and make connections, build the relationships that we can help, because we're all in this together. Well, thank you so much, Jane, for these words, and um, we look forward to having you in the third summit of the Americas. <laughs> thank you, Laura.